Hello, Antioch Middle School. This is Principal Wisely with some important information about our distance learning program. I want to start off by telling our students that I am so proud of the work that you've been doing. I know that you've been accessing our web page and our teachers' web pages, and you've been completing assignments, and you're doing a wonderful job. Parents, I certainly recognize that this is not an easy time for you, and I want to tell you that you also are doing a wonderful job. We want to add some additional tools to make your life easier with completing assignments, and I want to let students and families know about the free resources that our district offers. So first off, I want to, uh, again, remind families that you click on the teacher button and access your teacher web pages. So when you go to your teacher web pages, you find your classes, and then you look for your assignments. And everyone is doing that and doing a wonderful job. But what are some other things that we have in our district that will help students? So I want to take you to the AUSD My Locker and uh, show you how to log in to your class link. So let's find out how you do that. So first of all, you need to go to the webpage mylocker.antiochschools.net. When you get to that webpage, there's a sign in. Your username is your student ID. The password to start is a generic password that I need you to get from your teachers. We don't want to publish it online. We do want you to get that password, the generic password, directly from your teachers. When you receive a generic password, we would like for you to log in and reset your password to something more secure. So this is what the login screen looks like. Again, your username is your ID. You get the password from any of your teachers. You leave the third line as Antioch USD and you click the sign in button. From there, it's going to prompt you to reset your password to something more secure. And it has to be 12 characters. And I know you're saying that that is very long, but we want it to be secure. This portal of My Locker is going to hold many valuable apps. It's a link to all the resources that we have. So we want you to have a secure password. Once you do that, you want to set up password recovery. Whenever you have a 12 character password, you want to be able to recover that password in the event that you forget. And I hope you don't forget. You can put AMS Eagles Rock or um, I love the 49ers or I love the Raiders. Whatever you choose, make sure you click the blue button to set up recovery. When you get there, there's going to be a pop-up screen and you want to click on questions disabled button. That will take you to a series of questions that you can set up in the event that you need to recover your password. There's some pre-populated questions in there that you want to answer or you can make custom questions. Do not forget to click the green button, it's a save button, and that will save your questions. So in the event that you forget your password, it will prompt you with these questions for password recovery. So that's what the sign-in looks like. Let's take you to looking at the My Locker. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And this is what it looks like when you go into the AUSC My Locker. Now, students, your teachers are going to populate applications onto this dashboard, apps that they feel like would be valuable for you. So they might put the iReady app. They're going to populate the Office 365 app. It's a link to some of the other free educational resources that we offer. Some of these things require a password, so you're going to notice on the app that there is uh, a key and a lock in the corner. Once you input your password and save it, that password will be in there all the time so you don't have to keep re-inputting your password. That's what makes the AUSD My Locker so efficient because it's going to be a one-stop shop for all the applications you want to use for distance learning. And then in the future, when we go back to school, it's a great resource when you're doing homework at home, trying to complete assignments and projects. It'll have all the resources you need. One of the most important applications here is Office 365. There are so many tools for completing assignments in Office 365. So you can click on this and it will take you to these free tools. Many of you have probably used PowerPoint, uh, Excel, 
um, we are going to have make sure everyone has an email address in our school district, a student email address. So when you when you go into Office 365, it'll ask you for that that school email address. It is your student ID at student dot antiochschools.net. So again, your student ID at student dot antiochschools.net. And you want to make sure that you input that email address when prompted to go into Office 365. Now, if you want to access the Office tools from a web address, you can do that as well by putting office.com into the web browser. The web browser, the first time you do it, will prompt you for your email and password. And once you put that in, when you click on it in the future, it should be saved. And when I'm here, I'm looking at Office 365 and I can see that there's Outlook. Outlook is where your email, email is housed. And your teachers are going to be taking time to teach you how to write a proper email, how to uh, attach work, um, how to access all the tools in email. This is a great college and career skill and we're super excited to be teaching our middle school students how to do that. Um, there's OneDrive, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, SharePoint, Teams, where many of your teachers will house uh, class information. It's a great tool, and we're going to start moving towards that. So as we do, this is a, an important first step, is that you understand how to access your class's Microsoft team. There's a class notebook, Sway. Many of you have already used forms, and you probably didn't know it when your teacher puts a link on their web page for attendance. They're using Microsoft Forms, and then Whiteboard. So I can't tell you how valuable, uh, I can't tell you enough how valuable these tools are for completing uh, schoolwork, for uh, a future career. It's going to be a great skill that you're going to develop over our distance learning uh, time here. We certainly all miss you and want to get back to school. And I can't tell you that, um, you know, I, I understand that this is a huge learning curve for everybody, for teachers, for students, for parents. But I know we can do it, and I am here to walk you through each step. Once you get over this hurdle of logging in, you're going to start seeing how valuable these resources are and how engaging it is to your distance learning program. So we certainly want students to feel motivated, excited about these tools, and we want to give you, you know, all the things you need to uh, make it a success. So uh, I'm grateful to our school district and to our technology department for offering these things free of charge to our families. And again, uh, I want to congratulate you for accessing our webpage and continue to do that. The webpage is a great first step in our distance learning process. There are so many announcements that we are putting in the AMS News feed, so continue to follow our AMS News. This is where we announced our AMS Virtual Wellness Room, so again, continue to access that wellness room. It's available for you. I certainly know that being inside like this is, is challenging and there's supports for you. I want you to know we're here for you. And the a virtual wellness room is one of the resources we're providing. We also have a wonderful counseling page and I really want to encourage you to visit our counseling page and really interact with our counselor. She has set up a uh, work cell phone number that you can text or call. Um, there's her email address and she's populating uh, resources for families. This includes a list of um, health resources, uh, various food resources that we're offer offering in Contra Costa County. Um, and we want you to know that when you need something, please reach out. You can email me, you can email our counselor, our vice principals, any of your teachers. Uh, that's one of the best ways to communicate with us right now. So again, um, great work so far. I'm really looking forward to students accessing the AUSD My Locker. Um, I'm also looking forward to you utilizing and learning about the tools in Microsoft Office. And um, again, parents, if there's any questions, please reach out, Lindsay Wisely at antiochschools.net, and I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Thank you.